Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question without notice is to the Deputy Premier. Uh, the Deputy Premier's ministerial charter lever, letter instructs the Deputy Premier to study long-term global demand for Queensland's thermal coal. Did the Deputy Premier find that sufficient demand exists to support opening up new thermal coal mines in the Galilee Basin? I call the Deputy Premier. Uh, thank you, um, Mr Speaker, and I thank the member for Everton, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition, for the question. Um, I'm glad they have actually gotten around to reading my charter letter, and I thank uh, those opposite for the first question to me in relation uh, to uh, my obligations uh, to the Queensland Government and the people of Queensland around all of the commitments we made to them at the 2017 election. Of course, one of those key commitments was uh, to undertake a long-term study into the future of thermal coal in the global market. And, Mr Speaker, can I say that it is very interesting that those opposite have decided to ask this question, and I wonder whether it's uh, the LNP being ironic or whether it's about them being opportunistic. But what we have seen, and this made um, global headlines, uh, last week. What we have seen is one of the most uh, significant global players in the area of thermal coal uh, announced last week that they would be capping production around thermal coal and thermal coal exports from Australia. So here we have Glencore, here we have the market making significant changes around their production of thermal coal. And this is fundamentally based in what the Premier has been articulating at a state and a national stage around climate change. Businesses, governments, communities are asking for national, global and local action around climate change. And what we saw last week is a major... Uh, pause the clock. Uh, members, the Deputy Premier is being responsive in her answer. Uh, I'd like to hear the answer to this question. Uh, Deputy Leader of the Opposition, you've asked the question. I'd hope you'd also like to hear the answer. I call the Deputy Premier. Mr Speaker, as I said, what we have seen is we have seen local communities, we've seen state communities, national communities, global communities ask for increased action to tackle climate change. And we have been talking about natural disasters here this morning and the link between the more uh, frequent and ferocious nat natural disasters and climate change is scientifically clear. And those opposite should actually understand the science. The fact of the matter is, economics is moving. Order. Order. Number four, Toowoomba South, uh, North. I call the Deputy Premier. Mr Speaker, the fact is, Markets are moving away from thermal coal. Communities are moving away from thermal coal. Nation states are moving away from thermal coal. What we need to do as a coal exporter is understand that and equip our communities with the best possible chance of reskilling. And that's why we're focused on other materials, Mr Speaker. Order. Uh, Deputy Premier, do you have anything further to uh, add? Mr Speaker, I refer them to the um, uh, publication on the progress of our election commitments published Mem in November. time has expired. Speaker. I call the member for Mount Omni. Thank you, Speaker. My